Okay, crew, so we made it to the end of our shift. We did not get called. And so now we are on our way to the nail shop. I'm not even going to stop by home. I'm just going to take this badge off. We're going to go to the nail shop. We got to get our nails filled. And then we're going to go home and try to work on the plan for the Christmas lights in the back of the house. Because I want, I bought lights for like the fencing to put over the fence um but i don't really know how i want to do it because i bought these net lights i don't really know if they're going to work like that so i need to like take one out and try it and see if it's going to work and if i'm going to need additional extension cords so that's what we're about to do um this is a vlogmas day number two um while i was um on my ready sit today i went ahead and uploaded vlogmas day one so y'all go look at that remember like share subscribe i appreciate it, it really helps me um and comment definitely comment and like and subscribe so yeah so let's get to it let's get these nails done because oh they in bad shape yeah let's go get these done Okay, y'all, so we got our nails done, and it is now 512. So we got off at 3.30, we came straight over here, got our nails done, and so now I'm gonna go to the house, I'm so sleepy. I am so sleepy for some reason. I think because I got up super early this morning. So I'm gonna go to the house and try to get to work on the lights for the backyard. I can't do the front. My husband will have to do that because he got to get up on the ladder. I'm not going to get up on that ladder. I'm chopping no lights on the roof line. He's going to have to do that. But I am going to try to do the ones on the fence because I could just stand there and like throw it over. Like if it's going to work. I got to see if it's going to work. So that's what we're about to go do. Okay, so I got lights, but I don't have enough for this back. So I only got part of it done. <laughs> so yeah there's like half of it still not done so i'm gonna have to go hopefully tomorrow buy some more lights hey crew so i am back at home after getting my nails done and tonight i'm going to be making some salmon bites some cauliflower mash and i think maybe some green beans some garlicky green beans or either Brussels sprouts. I don't know. We'll figure that out. But anyway, I saw this recipe on um, Instagram. So I've been wanting to try it. So it's a butter, lemon, garlic, salmon bites. So I'm going to be making that today. So as you see here, I'm just um, cutting up the salmon into like little chunks. I'm also going to do some shrimp because I didn't have a whole bunch of salmon and I didn't feel like going to the store. So I'm just using what I got. So, yeah, I'm just going to cut this up into some chunks. All right. Grab a bowl. go ahead and put my um, shrimp in here too since I'm going to be cooking all of it together. This is just some frozen raw shrimp. So this recipe calls for you to season it and then um, once you get it all seasoned with the butter and the seasons that you're going to use to put a little cornstarch in it, then you put a little oil in your skillet and you're going to toss it and fry it like that. So that's what I'm about to do now. 
Okay, before we season our fish and our salmon and our um, shrimp, we're gonna go ahead and make some cheddar biscuits and these are gonna be keto cheddar biscuits. This is my first time making this, so I'm doing it with y'all. So it's four eggs. And I told you to whisk these first. Two cups of cheese. Okay. One cup of almond flour. Uh, I think it's two teaspoons of bacon powder or one teaspoon of baking powder, and then two teaspoons of baking powder, one teaspoon of garlic powder. Yeah. And two tablespoons of melted butter. I'm gonna get my sauce out for this. And I already have a um, cookie sheet that's lined with parchment paper to put this on. These are supposed to be kind of like uh, the cheddar biscuits at Red Lobster, but a keto version. Just try to space them out a little bit so they don't stick together. Okay, crew, now we're start ready to start making our seasoning for our fish and shrimp. So I got some butter melted here. I'm gonna put this in here. I'm going to juice a lemon. Then I already chopped up some fresh garlic. And now I'm going to add some garlic powder because I love garlic. Some Old Bay seasoning. Paprika. Some adobe seasoning. A little of this Kinder's Buttery Steakhouse because I just like to put it on everything. Don't ask me why, I just do. And then I got this wood fire garlic, which I thought would help give it like a little smoky taste. So we're gonna add a little bit of that. 
and Lemon pepper seasoning. Put some of that in there. And spatula here. Oh, I need my whisk. Stir this all up. I think I'm gonna put a little crushed red pepper in here too. y'all our cheddar biscuits are out of the oven i'm gonna let you see what they look like Ooh, don't they look good oh my god they smell so amazing so back to our fish and seafood Start taking this, putting it in here, giving it a good toss. Shrimp tail. Now this recipe says to add a little cornstarch. Supposedly this helps to give it like a little, I don't know, crispiness when you saute it. Okay, while that's cooking, we might as well go ahead and taste one of these cheddar biscuits. And they are light and fluffy. Mmm, 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 mmm. It's good. Mmm, 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 mmm. Man, it's good. Mmm. Love it. And it's so easy. Y'all, I added, top these with a little garlic butter with a little dash of salt in it. Oh, next level. Okay, y'all, we're gonna go ahead and plate this up. We got everything done. So we have our salmon and um, shrimp here. Let me see if I can get you guys a closer picture. Oh, that's delicious. And then we have our cheddar biscuits. We have a roasted garlic cauliflower mash. So good. I roasted the garlic myself. And then I roasted some asparagus with just a little sea salt, olive oil. So, yeah, let's plate this thing on up. Let's get some of this. Garlic mash. Mm. 
We're gonna spoon some of this salmon and shrimp right over that. Okay, time for the taste test. Mmm. 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 Mm. That is so good, y'all. Yeah. It's really good. Mmm. Buttery, garlicy, goodness. Okay, well, that's it for tonight. I'm gonna enjoy my dinner and I'll see you all tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 3. Like, share, subscribe.